back to Vapor Whisperer. Today I'll be teaching you a really recent model. I know I've had a lot of them. But here's another one um, that I designed myself. But it's actually, this is a new, a new type of model. This time I used a hexagon actually. So, it's, it's, uh, I call this, li li um, I call this tessellation layers. And so, I'll teach you how to make it. It's pretty simple. But, at the same time, you're going to need the scissors for it. No, you're not going to be cutting it to make, like, a novel work on the model. But you're going to be cutting it to make a hexagon. So, let me grab those. So, start, if you're, and I'm going to start adding the square because I feel, I don't really, Using the square, I'm gonna start with the, uh, I mean, start with the square and start white side up. It doesn't really matter though. I'm gonna be starting. I'm gonna be using printing paper, so um, and that and in that way, I'm gonna have to make a square. So if you're using printing paper, you're not gonna fully fold this down. You're just gonna make you're just gonna a lot, lot line it up. That way, you don't make the full crease. It will ruin your hexagon. You make a pinch, you wind up and make a, a pinch here, unfold, and make a crease from this pinch where it hits the edge all the way across, like this. And this, make sure this is very strong, maybe I'll turn this off. You want it very strong. Okay, turn over and repeat. Go out making the genderless. Okay, now unfold and make a tiny tear at the edge. Now, put, you need scissors for this, but before ripping it, put your hands together and slowly rip it apart like that. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold this edge to this edge. This is a slightly complex model. It's a simple model, but it's not really, it's not exactly too easy either. Now unfold. So I'd recommend having a good, ow, a good amount of experience in origami and some experience with tessellations and triangle grids. Now you can use some square, but I prefer using the back because it looks cooler. Now, rotate 90 degrees. Now I'm gonna turn the light back on. And fold this edge, this edge, to this edge. But only make a pinch in the middle where it hits the, the crease we just made, making an intersection point. Like that. Now, as you see, I didn't crease all the way. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold this edge up to that pinch and make a pinch on the right side. It doesn't really matter what side you put it on, but I prefer using the right side. So if you want to follow along easily, I recommend doing the right side. Now what you're gonna do is I'm gonna do this in the air because it's easiest to see. So you're you're gonna take the edge, sorry the crease from this edge to the intersection and turn it into a mountain fold. So this is a bit of a tricky step. Not too tricky though. And then make this point hit the, the pinch we just made. Once you align it, which is great, hold it there. Now unfold the mountain fold. all the way across. Now, it's going to be a bit easier, don't worry. Now, just do the same thing, so on this edge, which means you're going to align it with the crease you just made, align the edge with the crease you just made. Now, it doesn't have to be a perfect hexagon, but just try your best, okay? That's all I can ask. Now, you're going to rotate 90 degrees and fold in half. And then go along them one time, one crease like this, and then turn over and one crease like this. 
so that is going to have six layers, as you can see. So I'll show you again. Now, we're about to start cutting. What you're going to do is you're going to fold this edge. So from this edge all the way across, you're going to fold it down. Not fully. You're just going to make a pinch on the edge. You can fold it fully, but I prefer not to. Then, you're gonna, what you're going to do is you're going to cut from where this crease hits the edge to this point where the, this edge hits the edge right here. <sighs> you, you, I might have to make a redo on this because you got to make it really accurate, but it doesn't have to be perfect. So, just try your best. pretty well let's see oh my gosh it didn't nearly perfectly that was very lucky of me okay it was awful but the point is i did i did it now feel free to rewind if you need to anywho let's see if i didn't make that any better There we go. Sorry. Had to make it even. There we go. A hexagon. Not perfect, but good enough. And I'm going to go recycle these papers because recycling matters. Okay. Now, what you're going to do, you see there's going to be a halfway crease in each direction. What you're going to do, oh, that was cool. So you're going to fold the edge to the crease and unfold. Rotate, I, uh, I don't know, not 90 degrees, what's the math? 60 degrees, I believe. And fold the edge to the crease. Now rotate another 60 degrees. And fold the edge to the crease. As you can see, this is very similar with making normal square on a square piece of paper. You just keep making, folding it to the crease and folding it to another crease. So I'm not going to rotate it too much here. But basically what you need to do, you need to make a 32 by 32 triangle grid. You can skip to whenever I'm done with it. If you already know to make a triangle grid on a hexagon, it's pretty simple. But um, I'll try to explain it the best that I can. Okay. Basically, it's similar to it. Uh, it's literally the same as a uh, square grid on a square on a square piece of paper, except you're just except you're except there's more sides. That's really it. So instead, and, and instead of making squares, you're making triangles. But similar, you just make crimps and that stuff. Make sure your creases are genderless. It's very important. Oh, I recently designed this model, but I have to say it's absolutely beautiful. And also, the coolest thing about it is that it's it has a cool design on each side. And one looks like a, a really cool hexagon. The other one is a bunch of layers of hexagons. So. If you think this is what model is beautiful in the end, feel free to make sure to like the video and subscribe. But, um, to support my channel. And so, um, and I just want to remind you that whatever you do, if you're looking for good work on paper, don't get Ito. I mean, right now I'm using printing paper, and to be honest, printing paper is better than Ito. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but I tried my best. But the point is, Ito paper sucks. It, um, I tried doing it with, uh, for, like, a uh, work on me, and I got so frustrated because it kept ripping and ripping and ripping. I believe it was the Ancient Dragon, actually. And, to be honest, I did it perfectly with, uh, with Kami, that was from another company. So, I'm kind of disappointed I ordered it. So, if you're a beginner and looking for some right paper, well, you should, first of all, you shouldn't be watching this video, but also... You should look for Taro Origami Studio or Toyo. Those are, are the best comic papers in all of Origami, in my opinion. Okay. Once you finish the, um, once you finish this, oops, I forgot the crease. One sec. Once you finish the grid, or sorry, once you finish the 16ths, what you're going to do is you're going to make, um, 
an accordion. You'll see what it means soon. But it's very important. Well, you don't have to make an accordion, but it's easier if you do. I'm not going to make it. So it's a quicker tutorial, but that's about it. But I recommend do it. If you know how to make crimp folds and you know how to um, make genderless creases through crimp, through an accordion, then I'd recommend doing that. I'm not going to do that because it's easy to show you guys without it. But don't make bad choices look like I am. It's not much harder. It's just it'll make the collapse a bit easier, honestly. Almost done. This is 16 So we'll be doing 30 seconds. This is some regret to the praying mantis, which I streamed yesterday. Well, at least in time. Um, in the in the time I'm making this video, I guess. Soon I'll be making a video. And yes, it's a different video. It's not a time and actually it's a different I mean actually it's a different video. It's not a time lapse and no, it's not a tutorial. It's actually a demo, which it means I think it means basically that I show the model and don't exactly make a tutorial on it. Because until I get a bigger desk or a better better camera view, I will never be teaching this mo the model I'm gonna show in the video if it if I if it goes well. And no, it's not the ancient dragon. It's something a bit harder that I've designed. That I'm working on designing. It like, actually uses my scales. So I think you're gonna like it. I won't tell you what it is until I make a video, but I think you're gonna like it. To show how hard it is and how it's going to take too long of a tutorial, I had to make a 128 by 128 grid, which is crazy. Insane. Anywho. Okay, we're almost done. Now we're in our sixty degrees and so you see from the square. This by the way by the way, this is not my first tessellation tutorial. It's similar to my first tutorial, but um it's one it's one of my first tutorials is what I meant to say, but no it's not my first tutorial. It's actually my second if you include the scales. Sorry, let me show that a bit better. That's better. I'm hot. Done. This takes a lot of time, this origami, but not too long. It's not like nearly as long as my scale tessellation. Okay, we're 
mama's done the 16th. Come on. Sorry, I'm a bit of a slow folder. I like to make my creases extra accurate. Sorry, there's the left side. Try to go a bit faster. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I don't want to rush myself. I want to make a good tutorial. I'm going to keep the camera view like this. It's much better. It's easier for me to fold. Two more sides to get. So this video is a bit long. I'll try not to time lapse things unless it's the time lapse video. That way you guys can see the whole deal and it's easy to make time lapse. Side, and then we'll, I'll show you the collapse. Try my best to make it fast. At the same time, I don't want to make the paper come this far. By the way, you should be white side up. It doesn't really matter because it will be easy to do it either way. But you should be white side up. You're doing the accordion method. It doesn't really matter. But still, if you're doing my method, again, you should be white side up. Sorry, it's not annoying. That's very important. Okay, last grease. Now, turn over to color side up. You're gonna have this grid. Here's gonna feel really cool. Now what you're gonna do, is you're gonna take the center point. Now, take the hexagon around it. 
and extend it one more square. So you're gonna have a hexagon that has that has that is has two units on each side. Start by going to one of those the those point, part, part points where the units collide. Make the three creases that make the point. They're mountain bowls like this, okay, or you, like that, and then make them make valley folds next to them. Just like that, except you're gonna want it to be sticking out. Then, you're gonna take this edge, find two, two triangles down, and repeat. Therefore making another point. If you know the spread hex tessellation, uh, my dad always makes fun of the name, um, uh, which I think is one of my favorite models I've ever done. It's really fun. It's similar to this. Then I recommend. Then you probably would know how this goes. But well, the thing is, you're only gonna make one hexagon in the dead center. Make sure it goes in the right direction. I like to put it. I like to make sure that my mountain folds are turning um, clockwise. It doesn't really matter, but I, you gotta remember what, what you do. That way, it's easier to like know. That way, you can keep doing it and it looks better. Let's try to watch. Now, this time we have to do two corners at once. Try to flatten it. Just keep it kind of crum 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 crumbles in the middle. That can be that. It's easy to fix with creases as long as it doesn't really crumple the paper. As long as it's like not like in a ball, <laughs> then it's good. It probably went along the existing creases. Now what we're gonna do? We're gonna do the same thing except it's gonna be a bit different and a bit harder. I'll tell you why. It's because we're going to be using, it's going to be a bit thicker. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go along the crease, the, the edge that aligns with one of the edges of the original hexagon, but one square away. Sorry, one triangle away. Start with one with one edge. You'll always be able to do more. And repeat the step, the first step. And don't go so fast yet. I love that word yet. Because we're gonna have to find a way to put it somewhere. It's pretty simple. We just tuck it under. By the way, we're making three hexagons. gonna look like that. Now you're gonna keep going you're gonna keep going. Yeah. Sorry. Never make mistakes, right? It's okay. You're just gonna, like I said, tuck it under. 
like this. And, oops, one sec. Take that again. The mountain fold. That, oops. So valley fold and tuck under. It's gonna look like that, just like that. So now this looks similar to a squid, like its bottom part. Now, the next one. I'm just gonna be right beside it. And then push it in, tuck it under, you know. Mom's here. Not in my room, but around here. Just wanted to say hi. Friendly person. Most people, most people would say that. So as you see, we're making a hexagon around the hexagon. Man, this is a long video. Okay. And you just keep doing sides and sides. I'm going to go a bit faster now. If you like Tessellations, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up. I'll try to design another one for you guys. And don't worry, we're not done yet. By the way, if you want to see the back side, it looks pretty cool. Looks really cool. So we're just going to finish it up, you know. Okay. Draw three. Remember that. Okay, we're done. Oops, sorry. We're done the second hexagon. Now, what we're gonna do? We're gonna do the third hexagon, then we're gonna lock it, which is a lot of fun. Which makes it a bit 3D, which is pretty cool. So uh, you probably know how to do it by now, but I'll just narrate it again. So we're gonna go one from the edge. One sec. There we go. So you're just tucking it under. I had to go off camera for it. I had to go off camera for a bit. I wasn't sure if I was doing it right. Actually, I correct my creases a bit. That's fun. I make sure your creases are good. Okay. 
Now the next edge. This time I'm gonna go the other direction. It's gonna be still be clockwise, but like the flaps. But I'm gonna at the same time be rotating between sides of the hexagon counterclockwise. This is good. Work on a bit. Like that. Okay. So now I'm just oh wait, my water bottle's empty. Never mind. That's gonna be a drink of water. Anywho, we're almost done, don't worry. Then what you're gonna do you're just gonna make sure your creases are good. Then you're gonna go to the next edge. You know what to do. Yes, the creases aren't perfect. Now, the vinyl creases before we lock it together. I think you know the drill, hopefully. You've been watching this video this long. But if you don't, feel free to rewind if you need to. It's always an option. I'm not, like, there's no way to take away the rewind button, actually. I would never, and even if there was, I would never do that. Because I know you guys come on confused. Now flatten it. <sighs> it's not really working out, so I'm try this one last time. It's good to take the rest of this stuff. Okay, and we are done with the front side. Hopefully, you think it looks good to you. Hopefully, it's to your taste. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just lock it together. Let's see if it's not perfect, because it's about to be good. Now, turn it over and fold this edge to the middle, or close to the middle, at least. But it doesn't have to be you know, fold it, yeah, to the middle. And then this one, it's a pretty simple lock. And this one. And this one. I think you're seeing the trick. And this one. And this one. 
so you may know something similar to this in the ring of fire flicker and now just kind of work on it a bit edit it to your likings and then just work on it a bit Make it, like I said to your likings good enough And once it's done, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time. Bye.